What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna check out 100 wrestlers spotted on WWE TV before they were famous. Now, we've seen plenty of times wrestlers end up either being in the crowd or they end up being like some JAG security. And recently, it's been like a kind of a reoccurring thing. If you see someone as a JAG security, there's a good chance that that wrestler may end up being a future WWE champion of some sort. And it's funny to see that. Um, you see the clips of it all the time, finding wrestlers that were in the company at one point as some type of security or some type of situation they were doing, but they were no names, obviously, on the show. And now they end up becoming world champions or champions in in like maybe united states champion or intercontinental champion so it's dope to see that you know what i'm saying so we're gonna check out some of these wrestlers that played some jag roles or maybe they were just in the crowd as a plant or whatever and they ended up becoming you know bigger stars because of it should be a good one let's get right into it man one, is this on oh it just restarted okay is this on with the amount of angles and skills that take place in wrestling, there's always a need for extra talent. These will usually consist of wrestlers <laughs> or people signed to developmental, so it could be a chance to get a glimpse of future stars. Ah, players. see, I'm the roles will usually portray a range from jobbers to security. Wait, 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 wait. So who was the very first one? and skills that take place in uh, Brian Danielson, yeah. <laughs> These will usually can will highlight a host of examples as we look at wrestlers who appeared on WWE TV before there were stars. Given the nature of wrestling... Ricky Starks may be on there sooner rather than later once again. Security guards and police are always required. Regardless if the segment involves them getting physical or not, wrestlers will usually fulfill the role. <laughs> like future TNA World Champions Mr. Kennedy and Bobby Roode appeared on the last SmackDown before WrestleMania 17. Wow. Against the Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. A decade before they were team as part of the League of Nations stable, Wade Barrett and Sheamus got bumped around the ring by Triple H and Shawn Michaels during a roar from the UK. Wow. In <laughs> and when you think about it these security guards and stuff like that they be taking bumps the only way they can take a bump properly and know what they're doing they have to be wrestlers <laughs> EC3 Cesaro and Darren Young also featured in a segment with Hunter and Sean in 2006 ah, is he? Jeez, it's the cops. <laughs> Wow. Hey, you're just happy to see me. Keith Lee, who won multiple titles in Triple H's NXT, took a beating from the game on the go-home rule for WrestleMania 25. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Those punches by Shane was Prior awful. Prior debuting in NXT and later the main roster, we'd seen multiple talents such as future champions Bron Breaker and Trick Williams play security guards on NXT TV. Yeah, someone pointed that out on uh <laughs> on Twitter. I saw this recently. <laughs> so tell me something, Joe. Who provoked who? <laughs> Before he was defending the All Elite Wrestling World Championship against Samoa Joe, MJF appeared with the NXT yep. champion Joe in a backstage segment at TakeOver Brooklyn uh -huh. in 2016. Yep. One of NXT's greats, Johnny Gargano, once protected Michael Cole against Daniel Bryan on the old version of NXT back in 2010. Maybe you should take a step back and stop making excuses and stop blaming the Miz. Daniel Bryan has also That's worked crazy. for crazy in the past. He did so on SmackDown in 2003, where the American Dragon tried to stop his former training partner, Brian Kendrick, from streaking. Be in my mind for a long, long time. Yeah, this will... <laughs> Brian would go on to compete in WWE as well as AEW where he feuded with Ricky Starks. Starks had previously been seen attempting to arrest Roman Reigns on Raw in 2018. <laughs> Jeez. Starks' AEW colleague Scorpio Sky was seen along with future WWE megastar LA Knight, separating CM Punk from Kevin Ash on Raw in August 2011. Wait a minute. Wow. <laughs> Yo, LA Knight's been fucking everywhere, bro. That's what makes this funny too, because he's literally been everywhere. 
And lastly, we'll highlight when eventual WWE World Heavyweight Champion Damian Priest posed as one of Stephanie McMahon's security at Money in the Bank 2014. Escort this. Wow. He lost a lot of weight too. Out of my building. Aside from law enforcement, local wrestlers or developmental talent can be seen portraying numerous other occupations. Uh -huh. Multiple time WWE Champion AJ Styles acted as an EMT in WCW back in 2000. <laughs> Damn! Future AEW stars Adam Page and Cash Wheeler also donned EMT uniforms while helping Mark Henry on SmackDown in 2013. That's what I do! <laughs> Before she was ever a manager for the Viking Raiders, Sarah Logan had various different jobs on WWE TV. This little pill will set you straight. What? Including a makeup artist for The Miz and concessions manager, where she bossed around corporate Kane in 2014. Today, we're not going to be burning things. That's why you're being kept away from the deep fryer. Hall of Fame Alita was one of The Godfather's <laughs> hoes a year before she debuted as a wrestler in the WWF. What? Never even realized that. Two time women's champion Victoria also first appeared in the World Wrestling Federation as a hoe. <laughs> the leader of Legado. Yo, it, when you really think about it, WWE's come a long way. <laughs> can't I can't even imagine someone chanting "Save the Hoes" in 2024. Like that's wild to even say, even on this video. Rodel Fantasma Santos Escobar was one of John Laurinaitis' legal team on Raw from Mexico City in October 2011. Ah. A barely recognizable Tommaso Ciampa famously appeared on SmackDown in July 2005 during the segment with The Undertaker where Ciampa portrayed Mohammed Hassan's attorney. I am an attorney. What? He's an attorney. Current NXT wrestler Sean Spears didn't even know that. Stan was a production assistant at Cyber Sunday 2006 where he interacted with Shawn Michaels. What's your name? Stan. Oh. Stan. Really? I didn't even. Wow, this entire time. And that's one of my favorite clips from DX. Didn't even realize that was him. <laughs> Best known now for her run in WWE as Chelsea Green. Previously, Chelsea appeared once on Raw as Daniel Bryan's physical therapist, where she was called Megan. I've been having an affair with Daniel Bryan. I remember this. Stephanie McMahon even popped up on WWF programming before she was famous, as she was seen walking backstage answering a question from Stone Cold in 1998. Wow. Fans that interact with wrestlers as part of a storyline will be planned ahead of time. Uh -huh. Like Knight was seen in the crowd at SummerSlam 2011, reacting to Mark Henry and Sheamus going through the barricade. Look at this. Yep. Oh <laughs> As a plant. And of course, you'll always see real-life fans enjoying the show. But little did we know that these particular members of the audience would later become part of the show themselves. Yeah. Future Hall of Famer Edge is visible in the crowd at WrestleMania 6 at the Sky Dome in his hometown of Toronto. I'm Teen Rose back at WrestleMania 6. Now he's, you know... Shortly before she was That's signed, tough. Nick Morgan can be seen near the front row at Extreme Rules 2014. He paid for it. Rob Van Dam. Oh, I think... Wow. Rob Van Dam. Then after reporting to develop and these are situations where obviously they're fans so they just happen to be at the show or maybe they got invited you never know so i wouldn't call them necessarily plants in certain situations um you know sometimes they do have them as plants and sometimes it's just you know they know somebody in the industry they watch the show there to enjoy it just like everybody else so elemental lived in a run-in posing as a crazed fan of tyler breeze at nxt takeover rival <laughs> Yep. Look at him so casual. Concerned on an episode of Raw from March 1998, where the Big Red Machine Kane went on a rampage. Wow. What? The whole show in 1987, Rob Van Dam kissed the feet of the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase to earn a hundred dollars. I already kissed his foot before he was done with the sentence. I was so excited to be there. Prior to her, bro, nigga just. Threw it and then dipped. <laughs> get, get the hell up out my ring. Becoming women's champion, an emotional AJ Lee hugged her idol Lita and autograph signing in 2001. Aww. 
12 years before John Cena would destroy Maurice during a promo on SmackDown, she can be seen cheering Cena on during an episode of Raw from Montreal in 2005. On a rule from Damn. the boss, Sasha Banks, appeared on camera waving to the people watching at home. That all six men in the six pack challenge. Yeah, the that's her right there. That all six men in the six pack challenge. What, what makes this so dope is watching fans of wrestling become wrestlers. You see them in the crowd and stuff like that's actually pretty tough. Or meeting their favorite wrestlers and that influenced them to pursue that career path this is why i say you know wrestling just as a whole you could take the negatives out of it people want to enjoy and 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 live i care vicariously through these characters and sometimes it gets to the point where they get motivated by them that it becomes their passion their career that they want to follow and pursue so it's dope to see this man it's like a, a full circle moment to be honest with you it's actually pretty tough Champions. Sasha's best friend and future tag team partner Bailey sat front row on Raw from San Jose, California in 2004. Eugene wins. Eugene wins. <laughs> Three years before she starred on Total Divas, Eva Marie can be spotted in the audience on the Raw after SummerSlam 2010. Tonight, of oh, there she go. From Ring announcer Justin Roberts got some camera time on the sixth episode of WCW Monday Nitro in 1995. Yeah, him. <laughs> <laughs> clean shaven Kevin Owens applauding his future rival Paul Heyman at ECW One Night Stand 2005. That makes sense he was there. That makes sense he was there. <laughs> Wrestling can be at its best when it mirrors the human experience. It's why we see the real life family members of talent being featured on TV so frequently, some of whom would actually end up becoming wrestlers down the line, like Rey Mysterio's son Dominic, who was mm -hmm. featured on WWE TV countless times before he became a wrestler. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have known? What the hell? Who would have known? Yes, who would have known he turned out to be such a you know what? Just, just garbage. <laughs> Yep, that was cold. Oh my god. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes appeared at WCW Slamboree 1995 as part of his father Dusty's Hall of Fame induction. Mm -hmm. Look at him now. Wrestling career began. Charlotte was seen world champion both WCW and WWE, supporting her dad Ric Flair. She accompanied her father Ric Flair to the ring on a 1999 edition of Nitro. The brand new president of World Championship Wrestling. He is the 13th time. That's so. Uh... A young Tyson Kidd and Natalia were in attendance for WWF Canadian Stampede 1997, and both can be seen during the main event's post-match celebrations with the rest of the Hart family. This is a family affair and they are home. That's cool. Teenage Natalia and Tyson Kidd join in the post-match festivities. The People's Champion The Rock was once one of the people in the stands, as uh -huh. Rock was on hand to cheer on his father, Rocky Johnson, during a tag team title defense in 1984. Look at him. Yeah, without a doubt, one of my long-time favorites in the World Wrestling Federation. And it would all come full circle uh -huh. as NXT talent Simone Johnson was at WrestleMania 29 to see her dad, Dwayne, perform. <laughs> That's, that's full circle moment. Meanwhile, if we go back to Survivor Series 2000, The Rock was being spurred on during his match by his mother as well as his cousin and future WWE star Tamina in the front row. Oh, yep. The Great One battled Rikishi that night, the father of the longest reigning WWE Tag Team Champions, The Usos. Jimmy and Jay were part of their dad's WWE Confidential episode from 2002. Look at him. 
Jobbers are the most commonly used extras as they act as enhancement talents to the stars. This means even some of the biggest name wrestlers were job guys at one point. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, those that were consistently great at putting others over may earn full-time contracts. Yeah. Jeff Hardy. Most times, these wrestlers would crop up on the C-shows like Heat or Velocity. That's so cool to just see how far these guys, are, how guys and girls have, you know, how far they've progressed in their career. Corey Graves. Officially billed as Mr. Kennedy, the former United States champion, competed on WWE program. What's your name? Roderick Strong from right here in Tampa, Florida, baby. Wow. He was teaming with Rude, continue appearing on WWE TV for several years and while he changed hair colors. Notable examples are OVW talent at the time, Randy mm -hmm. Orton in 2001. I'll tell you what the genes, the bloodline that Randy Orton comes from. You might recognize that last name. Edge in 1996. Uh, Damon Stryker, he goes. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, wait a minute, he hangs on. Attempted a crucifix. No. Rob Van Dam in 1993. That's a young Rob Van Dam. Independent stars like CM Punk in 2005. I mean, Oh my gosh. Samoa Joe in 2001. Oh, nice move by Samoa Joe out of nowhere. A quite differently looking John Moxley who mm -hmm. once teamed up with LA Knight against Big Show in 2005. I know this is a handicap match, but it's hard to tell who's got the handicap. <laughs> and the American Dragon Brian Danielson in 2003. Nice roll through there by Danielson. Ooh. The American Dragon trained by Shawn Michaels from Aberdeen, Washington. Brian Danielson, we've seen him on SmackDown With a before. young John Cena, too. Working the arm of John Cena. Up at Danielson, Danielson able to get out of the way in a big shot to the kiss of Rico. And this kid has a lot of moxie. He's starting things off here with Brian Danielson. Both of these guys trained by Sean. And you, I'm sure people there watching at the time never thought he would be one of the biggest stars in WWE history. You never know. That's what makes it so crazy. Enhancement talent were also used on the main shows when required. Key examples include a much lighter Mick Foley. Oh, he's to get up there. A much lighter Mick Foley, yeah. Matt Hardy in 1993. Go down. Ooh. And Sean Waltman, including the week uh -huh. he became 123 Kid in 1993. Actually, I think he called himself the Cannonball Kid this week. I'm a Kazi Kid last week. As we've seen, wrestlers have to be quite versatile, since yep. they could be asked to play and physically act in a number of different roles depending on the situation. When watching today, you never know which extra talent could be a future star. Mm -hmm. While if you're viewing old shows, it's always fun to see the extras that become featured wrestlers in the years that followed. Just look at the amount of talent that were at one point part of Adam Rose's entourage. Damn. Well, it felt absolutely what is that braun Strowman too wait i don't think i could do that that was definitely braun Strowman, bro well yeah absolutely i wouldn't even pay that i never would i never i mean i've never paid attention to the group like that but that's Crazy to think Becky and Braun Strowman was a part of that. What? Exactly where Adam Rose belongs. Full of tricks. Kalisto. Elect. Wow. Damn. That Zelina. EVP is the Young Bucks cosplayed as Shawn Michaels and Triple H during a segment with The Miz and John Morrison in the fall of 2008. Actually, uh, it's more of a question. <laughs> <laughs> star Adam Cole can be seen on a SmackDown from July 2010, having a drink with Serena D before CM Punk and the rest of the Straight Edge Society crashed the party. Wow.
CM Punk's first match at WrestleMania saw him compete in the Money in the Bank in 2007, but this wasn't actually the first Mania he appeared. Uh -huh. As a year prior, the Chicago native was in his hometown for WrestleMania 22 as an extra for future rival John Cena's. Yep. Yep. Crazy how things come Future full circle. Cross paths again this time at the 2006 Royal Rumble, where Dean Ambrose acted as one of the Undertaker's druids. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed it? The same goes for Charlie Haas, who stood across from the APA while playing a bar patron on SmackDown in the summer of 2000. They told us to leave you a message. Right, big <laughs> <laughs> Randy Orton was also seen playing the role of a customer at a bar where Farouk and Bradshaw were once again involved. Acolytes. Hey, man. Where are you? There he goes. DDP's first major appearance in wrestling actually occurred in WWF as opposed to WCW, taking place at WrestleMania 6 where he drove a car containing rhythm and blues. And I get to go out and do this moment. Like. I'm thinking this is all I'll ever have. A few wow. years ago, we had the show of shows, developmental talent Alexa Bliss, Charlotte, and Sasha Banks appeared at WrestleMania to help out with Triple H's entrance yep. in 2014. We know about this. I've seen this one on social media plenty of times. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure I to definitely did. A similar video. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a like because I like little vids like this, factoids, you know for like you seeing some wrestlers that you didn't even realize was there like i definitely didn't realize some of these wrestlers were a part of the show at one point but it's just a full circle moment when you really think about it, like damn they were meant to be where they are you know and that's how i look at it comment down below let me know if you've seen any other wrestlers from back in the day that ended up being future or oh, ended up being champions let me know if they weren't listed in this video but i appreciate all love support road to 150k i appreciate y'all kicking in with me see you on the next one peace